truth to tell, could have gone my whole life without knowing that you have a big dick. As your daughter, it's really not my business. And that you should insinuate this entirely too much bit of implication in the guise of applying me for sympathy because my mother never commented on how well endowed you are, never praised your prowess in bed like your more recent middle-aged lovers have done, only makes it that much more pathetic. Could have gone my whole life without knowing this. This is the age of slam poetry. We're supposed to dig deep and excise those wounds and let them breathe and let them heal and normalize our pain and express our righteous anger. And many, if not most, would say I have a right to be angry, that you blamed her for not knowing you were good in bed, or what big is, when you were likely all she ever knew about any of it. Unless that little slut at 15 had actually slept with the guy you stole her from, your buddy, the one you chided and shamed, called a cradle robber, so you could get what he had. Or maybe you think she should have been paying attention when she was raped at 17 and, and thought to herself, I must really remember to tell my husband how much more I enjoy his big dick inside me than this guy. <laughs> maybe that's what you think. This is the age of slam poetry and I'm supposed to be angry. I'm sure we can all agree that seeing my mother raped when I was eight or nine months old and listening to you bash her for the next year and a half for having opened the door to a stranger, using leaving as a cudgel to punish her, using me as an excuse for not leaving. Entitles me to be angry. The truth to tell, the word pathetic is not one that is meant to be spoken in anger. When exactly did that become the fashion? And like you, I am not known for doing what is fashionable or expected. Pathetic, causing or evoking pity. Two, affecting or moving the feelings. Oh, oh, you do that, Dad. Three, miserably or contemptibly inadequate. The way you felt your entire life, despite your Robert Redford good looks, despite your beautiful, adoring, and faithful wife, despite your actually quite exceptional children, <laughs> And of course, your big dick. Miserably, contemptibly inadequate, I must say, that in my opinion, your life thus far has been pathetic. And you are not your life. This is the age of slam poetry, and I'm allowed to be angry about how you've done this all wrong. But it's nothing compared to what you did to yourself, because we all found a way to escape. We all learned that hating someone else is like eating poison and expecting them to die. We all found a way to hate the deed and love the doer, not just that that's a real thing, but how to do it.